Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Pearl. If you enjoyed the series, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell to be notified when I post again. And if you aren't doing so already, check me out on Twitch, Dungeons with Shepard. Link in the description below. Come on, Rally, let's go! It's a trap! Oh, we can't escape. Oh, we can't escape. Oh, we can't escape. I do like that if I can't run, that they keep fighting. I do like that if I try to run, I only skip my tone and I don't skip the tone as well. I hit the wrong button! I didn't mean to do that! That's bad. That's bad. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit soft. I was going to soft. I didn't try to run. I didn't mean to do that. Solar beam? Solar beam. I, I, I did it again. Oh my god. I did it again. I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm hitting the wrong button. Why do I keep doing that? No, I'm throwing! I'm going to lead to Teddy dying because I keep hitting the wrong fucking button. Oh my god. Oh my god, it hit Teddy. It's just, it's a Zubat though, so it should be fine. Yeah, it should. Okay, it was fun. Okay, I'm not even gonna keep. I'm. I'm keeping my hands away. My hand isn't even near that button. Why isn't it going? Wait, would it not? Oh, it won't let you do that. Okay, so you can't go directly up. If you're on run, you can't go up to fight. You have to go to either Pokemon and up or Bag and up. You can't go run straight to fight that's stupid so I, I for anyone who doesn't know I was I was I was hitting the button but I was hitting them both too fast and up apparently you couldn't do that so it wasn't letting me go up to fight and then hit the button because I was trying to go too fast I was, are you fucking serious what okay it's, at least it's being stupid Okay, the Zubat also just was being stupid. And Chris was paralyzed. Yeah, so I don't think that Aqua Jet will kill Yen Mega. So I think I'm just gonna surf. <clears throat> they are gonna be faster though. By a lot. The Psychic shouldn't take out Teddy, that's a crit, that's a fucking crit, you son of a... Oh my god. Okay, the Zubat's taking in light. That buys us a turn. As long as the Cloyster doesn't do damage to me. So far, it hasn't shown any possibility of doing that. Maybe I take out the Zubat too. Maybe I won't hit the Zubat. It's just a Zubat. I don't want to hit the Zubat. Alright, close though. Either hit it, don't hit me, don't have a move that hits me, or be paralyzed. Nasty plot. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. Everything is good. Oh my god, I threw that so fucking hard. 
I can't run, but can I switch out? I don't know if it's a... I don't know if I was just too slow because of the game mega, or if... Oh, if it's an ability that's keeping me locked in. And I'm pretty sure if I try to switch out, it'll just be like, you can't switch out. And then it'll let me take my tone still. But honestly, I don't want to fucking risk it. If this solo man didn't do a lot, a crit wouldn't have done a lot, but it would have took me out. believe how much I threw that. I wasted two tones trying to fucking run when I already knew I couldn't. I'm pretty sure Aqua Jet won't take it out. That was not worth it. That was... Oof. That was scary. Is there seriously not anything here? Is there seriously not anything in this fucking hole? There's nothing in that hole. Why do they do that? Why do they put random holes that don't do anything? I'm just doing that, just so we can, you know, get some progression going. Is that a thing? Okay, it's a bell. Oh, this is a thing, though. An Ojito! Anything? Anything at all? No? Just just a waste of my time? Okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do! Oh, it's a Vulpix! I'm gonna drown it. I did it. Did I win? Don't worry, that's fine. It is a rock type or is it a ground type? It's either rock or ground. I think it's rock. Pretty sure it's rock. Could be ground. But I think it's rock. I know it's psychic. It's very really difficult to tell a rock Pokemon from a ground type Pokemon. I kind of wish they didn't make both. Because it feels pretty redundant. But I kind of get why they did. Actually, there's only one reason why I know why they did and that's because of flying and they wanted a rock to do something with flying that's the only thing I can think of and and they wanted probably like punching a boulder or something like that, that's only the only two reasons I can think of Kinda of late with Jam, folks. Use this place as the training grounds. Am I just outside of Kinda of Live?
Hey, that's my ability! I don't know if Celio is an ice type yet or not. I'm gonna go with it is. And if it's not, that's okay. We smash it anyway. Because how can we say no to that glorious mustache? Okay, that's actually not good. It's actually bad. I need my attack. I need it! I need it to smash! Okay, so it is an ice type. Huh, how do you like having your stats lowered, bitch? Signal Beam being a bug type move is always weird to me. I, I don't know what kind of move I imagine. Oh, I got confused. You know what? That makes sense, because I'm confused as to why it's called Signal Beam and it's a bug type move. So yeah, checks out. Oh no! That's okay, you lowered my attack. Because you're stupid. Actually, you're really small. That was actually a very small thing to do. <laughs> Was Ghost always able to hit fighting types? Because I know fighting type moves can't hit ghost types, but was ghost type moves always able to hit fighting types? Or was it like a secondary ghost normal situation? Well, they can't touch you and you can't touch them. Nice. Rotom. Okay, but which one? Which one is it? Which one is it? Go, Pooter! If it's just a regular ghost type, I, I need a dark type. The psychic isn't good against ghosts. If it's a... Oh yeah, it's just a regular one. Extra sen well, extra sensory isn't weak to it, but it's not super effective. Oh, I got overheat back. I got my overheat back. Cause he's been healing me. He lived. Psycho boost. Is that an attack? It is. Owie. Oh, we both we basically did the same thing to each other. I don't know if bug is weak against ghost or not. I imagine it is. It is. Always like the idea of Rotom. Tank growth. I really wish I didn't use fire attack now tentacles that's a smash oh and it shuttles oh wait we do have leech life as well I forgot we have leech life that's also good against grass completely forgot absolutely forgot And it heals us. Ba -ba 
Yo, Bell. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Wait, did they actually heal off of that? Yo, Bell's supposed to heal it, right? I don't know if Tangrowth is a more. I forgot Tangrowth had Ember. I forgot about that. That's what it should have been doing. It should have metal sound me, metal sound me, and then embered me. Because one ember wouldn't have took me out because it's an ember. But an ember after two metal sounds might have done something. Actually, I don't know if I had a thought attack. Heal belled, then it metal sound. And that was it. So yeah, sure, it didn't have a thought attack. But if it would have metal sounded in an ember, it would have done some damage. Money. Did I fight you? I did. I want that thing. Gimme. Ooh, another belt. Now I can be all anime and she is. Look, Ma, I'm anime. Uh, there's a person over there, so I actually want to go over there. I kind of wish they'd say, hey, your thing's about to go off, or your thing went off. Do you want to use another one? Oh, did that guy actually block me off from going that way? Oyster. Oh my god. Make everyone soaking wet. Give everyone that drip. to get Porygon in Gen 1 was to go gamble. Or trade. With a gambler. Oh god. That's intense. I feel like Aqua Jet should take it out, right? Super effective at single target. <laughs> it's so weird having a physical attacking Porygon. I feel like it shouldn't be physical attacking. Let's actually put Pooter in front. Um, because Pooter needs needs some more XP. Needs some more training. Boo. Pooter. These two are actually perfect for Pooter because Pooter has a second type movement. That's good for both of these. Beep, 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 beep. I'll rearrange your molecules. 
because it's a single target, it should be a one hit on both. I still don't know what bear to give Felicia when I get done leveling them up. I think the best berry would just be a citrus berry. Because they're all, they're all berries that say it heals in a pinch, so gluttony on those would be really good. Because a citrus berry heals you when you're at half health. So gluttony would probably make that like a full health. So the ones that heal you, and it doesn't say heals you for a little bit, it just says heal you when you're in a pinch. So to me that suggests it heals you for more than what a citrus berry does. Uh, and because it's in a pinch, that means you need to be in the red. Uh, but with gluttony, gluttony, you will probably heal when you're in the yellow. Okay, I went that way, so I need to go up that way. Team Tentacles! It's my dream come true! Suction Cups, Tentacles, oh my! Am I doing extra sensory? Yes. I don't care if they all full of poison! Let me live out my dreams, damn it! Oh wow, that actually wasn't a one hit. Wow. I do kind of like how Octilly kind of, I think I've, I think I have seen either concept art or like reimagined art of what an Octilly did look, actually I'm pretty sure it wasn't concept art, I'm pretty sure it was like fan art of what an Octillery evolution would look like. And it was basically an Octillery or reimagining, it was basically an Octillery that looked like a tank. Which kind of makes sense, because artillery, octopus artillery. And even looking at the way the sprite is, the front tentacles are kind of put up in such a way that they kind of are reminiscing of the treads on a tank. So I, I think it's a really cool reimagining of artillery. It's a little silly looking, but Octillery itself is, honestly, a little silly looking. The Octillery Remoray evolution is a very strange evolution. You go from a... You go from a fish. You go from a fish that suctions on to bigger fish to move across great spans of ocean and for free food and then you go to a an octopus that is literally made to act like an artillery cannon it is a very strange evolution and I really don't know who did that? Who thought these two Pokemon go together? Because they don't at all. The only similarity between Remoraid and Octillery is that they both shoot stuff out of the mouth. They are big spittles.
I don't know what would be the best move here. It spit on the pussy. How dare it! Okay, I guess uh, extra century was the better way to go there. Oh no, it spit on me. It went patooey. How rude. Is this the one? Okay, no, it's not. I think Illicate tries to put its ears into electrical sockets. I bet it does. Are they even ears? Do you think trainers put like piercings through the holes in its ears? I bet they do. And then I bet they get zapped because it's metal. Many kids have learned the hard way not to put metal piercings on your Ella kids' ears. Don't go putting that metal earring on the L kid. I was paying attention. I read it and then I forgot. It's a beetle. Smoke weed every day. I just love saying Poodle. Such a nice, such a fun name. Alright, I could go extra sensory, or I could go Rock Blast. I think we're gonna go extra sensory. I don't know if Crobat has a good special defense. I think it does. It's actually a really well-rounded Pokemon. It has a good attack, it has a really good speed, and I think it's a pretty good defensive Pokemon as well. Icy Wind, that's not good at all! No! 
that's not good at all. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that's all speed. That's concerning. Go, Harry! I never feel... Oh, yes, punish me, Crobat. I never feel worried about sending in Harry. Because Harry is just a fucking meat shield. Just so much HP. I just now know it's like the slight like background music to the song. Like the the very the very faint in the background. I like his pants. Money. I like his money better. Alright, and that will be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified when I post again. And if you aren't doing so already, check me out on Twitch, Dungeons with Shepard. Link in the description below. And I'll see you all next time.